artist. Today we are going to go over a few techniques that we can use in ceramics while using clay. So the first thing I want you to do is to take your clay and you're going to kind of squish it between your hands just like this and you're going to roll it back and forth between the two hands to make a ball. Now, see how I have all these cracks and crevices? I want to smooth that out the best that I can. So you might have to like really press together and I'm going around and around. See how I'm going opposite of each other? And I want to go fast. You can also use the table going around and around. And eventually it might kind of look a little lopsided. So you might want to turn it to the other side and go around and around, turn it around again, go around and around. And you can kind of go back and forth between the table, between your hands, and you want to make it nice and smooth. Right? It's getting a little better. We see those cracks starting to uh, get a little smoother here. So I'm just going to keep going until it's much smoother and you can pat it between your hands like this and your hand is kind of like a cup. Pat, pat, pat. Make it nice and smooth. This is a great sphere. Sphere is like a circle that we can touch. So now that I have this, I'm going to go ahead, place my clay right in the center, and I'm going to use the palm of my hand right here, and I'm going to press. Listen how I silently press. I'm not kind of hitting it like this. I'm pressing and I'm putting my weight right here in the palm of my hand, pressing, and I might wanna turn my hand a little bit. Notice how it's starting to get a little flat. Right now we are making a slab. A slab is a nice flat piece of clay that we will be able to make all sorts of fun things with. So I keep pressing down. I might even wanna flip it over and press again that way. And I'm not just pressing down, sometimes I am pressing out. So the palm of my hand here, I would press and kind of go this way a little bit. My hand doesn't really move a lot, but the pressure I put down is moving. Sometimes it takes a little time and that's okay. I want it to be even, so if I put my hand like this and it's not very bumpy, then I know I'm doing well. So this is still a little too thick for a slab. I want it maybe about the thickness of my hand. So let's kind of measure that out. I'm gonna push it down just a little more. Make the slab nice and flat. Make sure we get the edges. And again, I'm gonna run my hand if it feels about the same, there's a little bit of lump here, so I'm just gonna even that out. I want it to feel nice and even. I don't want like this side to be thicker and this side to be thinner. Nice and even. So here we have it, a slab. It looks really good. That is our first technique that we can use in clay. Now my next technique is to make a coil. Now I think I can use like a little piece of this slab if I want to, or if you have extra clay near you, we can do that too. So I'm just taking a little bit of my slab here. No worries, I'm not gonna miss it too much. I'll put my, my slab aside. And here I have my clay. I'm gonna kinda squish it between my fingers so it's like a log. And I'm gonna run it back and forth between my hands to make a coil. A coil is what we call it in ceramics. Kind of looks like a little snake. And you want to go back and forth. I'm not really pressing down hard at all. I'm just letting my hand rest on the clay. And I'm just really moving my hand back and forth. What happens if you press down too hard is you really start to get too much pressure and it doesn't make that nice round coil. You really might press too hard. So if that happens, we'll just fold it in half together, press it in, and kind of start over again. And notice here, I'm starting to get some cracks 
I'm just gonna dip one finger in water, one finger only. If our clay is too wet, it's just not gonna work as well for us. So I just kind of smooth the edges there and I can go back to working with that. I can use two hands, I can use my fingers, I can use the palm of my hands, but you wanna make sure that I'm kind of moving back and forth so it's nice and even. Now if I look here, I think right here is a little too thick, but everywhere else looks good. So I'll just press a little bit here and roll it. And I think this looks pretty good. It looks nice and even. So right here is my coil, and we can do all sorts of things with coil. We can roll it up and make a design, make a shape, make a letter, anything that we like. Um, today, I wanna show you one last technique that we can use with our slab and our coil. And notice here, it's a little cracky, so I'm gonna dip my finger in here and just smooth it out. I'm probably using one or two fingers. I don't have to use my whole hand. Maybe a little water on this side to get the edges. Remember, only dip one finger in the water. You do not want too much water. We'd rather have a little bit less water and add more than too much water because too much water will make it a little slushy and it will make it very hard for us to work with. So that looks pretty good to me. It's nice and smooth. I'm going to take my coil, I'm going to take my slab, and we have a toothbrush here and a little bit of water. I'm going to dip the bristles of the toothbrush into the water just a little bit. And we are doing a technique called slip and score. Slip is when we make the clay a little extra wet and scoring is scraping. So this is a really good tool to use is our toothbrush. Again, I dip it in and I decide where I want to connect my coil to my slab. So let's say I'm just making a kind of wavy line here like this. So I can kind of press down just a little bit and I can see where I need to slip and score. We don't want this paintbrush soaking wet or this toothbrush here, that's what it is. So we just make sure it's a little wet. And I'm gonna scrape right along where I need to. And I'm scoring or scratching a little bit into my clay. We don't wanna press too hard and go through. We just wanna kinda of scratch the surface. And the slip is this really wet watery type of clay here. So once I have that, I'll do a little bit underneath the other part of my coil here, the part that I'm going to attach. I don't need to dip it in again. This part I really just wanna scrape up a little bit. And it's really important to slip and score when you're attaching pieces of clay because it acts like glue. So this is what's gonna help it hold together. If I don't slip and score, it could fall off after it dries. So I wanna make sure that it stays on there nicely. So there we have it. I'm gonna lift up my slab and show you guys. It stays on nicely, it's connected. If I wanna go back and dip one finger in and smooth out anything else, I can do that. If you are working with clay that is not firing clay, this is firing clay. If you're working with uh, Play-Doh, Model Magic, or air dry clay, don't add water. You can just smooth it with your fingers because it's not the same type of clay. Um, and if you add water, it will change uh, the feeling of the clay and it might not work well after you do that. So there I have it my slab with my attached coil and I hope you guys learned a little bit something today about some clay techniques and I can't wait to show you what we are making next.